while it may not be a mark of quality, the Canon symbol is a mark of entertainment. So let's have a look at some Canon films I have on VHS. The Wicked Lady, uh, as you see, it's from the Canon group, so it counts. And it's a Michael Winner film with Faye Dunaway, John Goodwill, or whatever. It's a bawdy epic story of England's most legendary robber. Now, I haven't seen this, and it looks like it has some nudity, which they even put on the case, which is unusual, and a lot of mould. So clean it before I watch that. Then you've got your American Ninjas. Now, yeah, so they did this one, Golem Globus. And it's got the, it doesn't have the cannon symbol, it may be under the sticker. But it depends on the sequels, whether they're, they're right to me, because, yeah, they didn't do Exterminator, well, they didn't do Death Wish 1 and 2, but they did 4. It's released on MGM Home Video, but a little cannon symbol there. So I have no idea what the rights are. Or when. But if it's got the cannon label on, it's good enough for me. So of course they did Death Wish 3. My favourite one, because of the fun. It's over the top. And it knows it. Okay, and Cobra, which not many people may know is a cannon film. Ah, uh, see, produced by Golem Globus. And, I don't, yeah, it doesn't carry the cannon symbol. But, but He-Man and the Masters of the Universe sure does. With pride. One of their biggest films, I think, because... And then they made Bloodspot with Van Damme, which put his name... Made him a house on him, really, yeah. There are two films I think he did with them. But uh, this is the only one. I don't have Cyborg, unfortunately. Which is odd, because I was looking for it last night, but I sure I had it. But I went, and of course, that last one, Stallone's over the top. Yeah, so they made two Stallone films I have. This one is a very canon. Uh, but, uh, yeah. There is a long list of films that they do do, but unfortunately I only have this many. Anyway, thank you for watching, here under the lesson.